ClickFunnels 2.0 versus Go High Level Workspaces slash SaaS Mode Edition. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal, and as always here, bringing you the news. Let's dive into both pieces of software and take a look around at the differences. First up, let's take a look at ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is using the word workspaces, and a workspace is almost very similar to what high level would call a sub account so over in high level i have the ability to jump around and go to numerous different accounts in my software and i can have unlimited on the 297 plan but we're talking about the funnel hacking plan which you'll see here the funnel hacker plan and we're also talking about high level our 497 plan which gives you the ability to create a SaaS company very different than what ClickFunnels is doing. So ClickFunnels allows you three workspaces and you can see I'm in my friend's account here and she has one workspace. And this is what it looks like once I click in. It looks like I can have up to three. Now I had to dig to find this out. I reached out to support and here's the answer that we got. On the basic plan, you can have one workspace. On the pro plan, you can have one. And on the funnel hacker plan, you can have three. So that means on our 290, 208 a month annual or our 297 a month monthly plans, I can have three workspaces. So technically I could have three times three. So I could have nine websites. I could have three times nine. I don't know what the math is on that. And then I could have 600,000 contacts, but they're split in very different businesses. So they would be very separate from each other. And I, I think that's great. It's a big step up for ClickFunnels for sure. But what I really am in love with is this ability to white label software. What do I mean by that? What is white labeling? Well, we white label and use white label products all day long. There's soap, there's t-shirts, there's car parts that turn in, you take this part and you move it and you turn it. People are manufacturing and developing and then they sell to someone else to put their name on it. That is happening in software and it's been happening in software for some time. Lots of companies are built on top of Salesforce. Lots of companies are built on top of Visita and Thrive, T-H-R-Y-V-E is one of the most successful examples and I'll link these down below for you. Billion dollar companies that are just white labeled on top of somebody else's software. We've even seen inside of high level, multiple businesses already sold. So that's very exciting. You could build your software business and sell it. It's sellable as well. And you can get started for $497. It gives you the ability to get a app as well, a mobile app, and it is unlimited. And the accounts inside are unlimited. So you could have a thousand people at $97 a month. That gives you a $10,000, $100,000 a month run rate. That's a $1.2 million business right there, monthly recurring. Very, very sexy. So ClickFunnels, I don't believe is going to give you the ability to do that, but high level, that's really an amazing story. They tell us every time that we go to an event that it came from us as the users. We wanted the ability to sell it to our people. They didn't come with this idea of white labeling. It kind of came through listening to their people, AKA their users. And I think it's one of the sexiest business models out there. In the client game right now, you and I both know it costs a lot more to get a lead. The clients are a lot fussier. They don't want to spend the money they were spending and clients come and go. They either no longer need your services or they just don't like you anymore. Can we get an amen, right? That happens. In software, the churn rate is different. The percentage of people that leave a business in the client game is what? 100%. When they leave SaaS, it's in the single digits. Single digits, even if it was nine. Single digits, 9%. So imagine if for every 100 people you get, you only lose 10 versus in the client game, for every 100 you get, you lose 100. Whoa, I've been on that treadmill. It is a long haul and burnout, AKA it, like it's just, it's just for unreal. Most people hit a wall in the client game and software is really powerful because you're referring people to other people's software all the time. You're telling them if you're an email service provider, go get MailerLite or ConvertKit. Or I used to tell people go to ClickFunnels or let's go to Vimeo, you've got to host a video or you need to go to Kajabi to get your host for your course, X, Y, Z. Now you can refer them to your own software. What if you only had 100 people? Is that exciting? Because 100 times 100 is how much? 
it's $10,000 a month. Now, yes, you have to think about support. Yes, you've got to think a little bit about tech. But if you're a business owner wanting a $10,000 a month recurring revenue source, time or money, time or money is going to take some skills. You're going to have to learn. And this is a great business model. Is it for everyone? No, it is not. But high level, that's what makes them so unique. And they are not going to nickel and dime us to death. They have decided that this is what it's going to cost and this is what they're running with and this is who they are. And ClickFunnels has just come out with 2.0 and it doesn't give us the ability to run multiple businesses or to run businesses for other people. So my choice for $200 more a month and get two people in my SaaS business that help pay for my own software. So I'm already up a couple hundred dollars a month, right? Starts to make sense, yeah? If you'd like to learn more, I'd love to help you get set up. That's what I do all day long. Talk to people about building a multiple recurring revenue stream. Reach out down below. Lots of ways to reach me. Talk to you soon.